I'm Jackie and welcome back to my channel. We are enjoying life's journey on the path to financial freedom. I talk about goal setting, personal finance, and a little bit about my minimalist lifestyle. If you're interested in any of those, please consider subscribing. Today, I wanted to talk about kind of a finance related video and it is on what are the recommended percentages for your cash flow, for money management, for your budget. Now, there's gonna be different theories on all of these. So today I'm going to talk about some of the, these are the goal percentages that I'm trying to kind of get to and they're based off of T. Harv Eggert's Secrets to a Millionaire Mind. Um, these are the percentages that I kind of resonated with and so those are ones that I, I say those are my goals because we're, we're not at those percentages. We haven't reached those percentages yet because we are working on some other um, finance goals that are a little different, but I'm gonna go over what his are. Now, some of you know I do follow Dave Ramsey's Seven Baby Steps. He does have a cash flow plan that goes down every single item with his recommended percentages. So you can always refer to his uh, website and his percentages if you would like. I feel that um, he breaks them down so much that uh, I wanted to simplify it. Being a minimalist, the idea of between everything that I do in my life is to try to make it a little simpler. So I really liked T. Harv Eggert's percentages because they were kind of, they're simpler and they're a little more straightforward. So what are they? So basically he breaks his budget or his, you know, his percentages into to six, six areas. Okay. So within those six areas, uh, basically he has the first three, the first three of his area he considers pay yourself first, okay? So 10% of your income should be going to your, what he calls your financial freedom, okay? Your freedom fund. So 10% should be going towards your future, investing, retirement, all of that. Then 10% should be going towards your long-term savings goals. So this is money that you're saving long-term, but it's money that can be spent. So whether it's saving for emergencies, saving for a vacation, saving for a car, saving for furniture, whatever that might be, it's long-term savings. So you're, you're plugging away, you're saving 10% of your income into that long-term savings account. The third one in pay yourself first is 10% invested in yourself, in your personal development, your education, whatever that might be. So whether you attend seminars, you purchase books, whether you're in college and you're working towards a degree, trade school, whatever it might be, 10% um, is going towards um, increasing your knowledge and your value out in the workplace okay so those are three areas of pay yourself first now if you you're trying to get out of debt and you're following dave ramsey's baby steps or say you're on the baby set of paying off your house early then i would also consider those and pay yourself first and i know that might sound weird because you're you're paying somebody else but if you're paying off your home early you're technically investing in the home you're investing in yourself so to me that would be part of i would use that as part of my my long-term my financial freedom fund i would do that same thing if i'm paying off debt um, i want to be out of debt before i start saving a bunch of money um, because if you still owe people money technically the money you do have isn't really yours you still owe people money so i would say tackle those things with those percentages um and then you know so that's why i say we're kind of working we're working towards those those three areas because you know we are out of debt but we we are just purchasing a home so we will be adding in to pay our home how our house early will be within pay ourselves first so that's 10 percent of those three areas basically 30 percent is you know paying yourself first then uh, he recommends doing at least 5% of your income towards giving. Okay, so um, if you guys are already used to doing 10% tithing or you do 10%, if you're already used to that, then by all means keep it at 10%. Uh, he says, that, you know, at least 5%. And that's just, you know, that could be giving to charities, that could be, um, you know, being involved with whatever it is that you want to do. Us personally, we count giving, you know, gifts for birthdays and holidays for friends and family. We count that as part of our giving as well as charitable donations um, to different charities. Okay, so that's kind of what we do. So 5% of your income for that. So the fifth one is your necessities, your living expenses. And he recommends that having this at 55%. So again, these are numbers that can be kind of changed around because 
if you are if you have bigger goals in savings and paying off debt or paying off your house or just you really want to crank out some money into your retirement account you could always have you could always live on less than 55% of your income and, and put more into those funds. So these are just kind of a base. So 55, but you don't want to go over. You don't want your monthly expenses, your necessities to be over 55% of your income because then you're not going to make any progress in those other areas that you want to make progress in. Um, so again, a lot of people within that area, you know, they might have specific percentages for like your house, your home. Uh, you know, they might say you don't want your mortgage to be anything. You don't want your mortgage to be over, you know, 25 or 35 percent of your income. Or you might you might not want your car to be over 10 percent, your your transportation over 10 percent of your income. For myself, I just look at the necessities as a whole, and I say as long as my necessities are not over 55% of my income, then I feel fine with that. Because we have had situations where, you know, our our rent, our our ex rent expenses were almost half of our um, living expenses. It wasn't 25%; it was almost half. Now we're making more money, so now it's more like maybe 30, 35%. So we still kind of keep track, but overall. If our necessities are at least 55% or lower, then we're happy with that. That's good. And then the last one is uh, your fun, enjoying your money. Because you're working so hard up here, you're saving, you're investing in yourself, you're taking care of your necessities, but you want to enjoy your money at the same time. So T. Harv Eggert recommends at least 10% of your income into your fun account. And this is to be spent every single month. He said, don't let this accumulate for any more than say maybe three months at a time. So if you are saving up for bigger vacation then you know you might be able to save save it up for like three months but you want to be spending that money you want to be enjoying that money so right now we're not at 10% because we're focusing on our other goals we're not at 10% we're actually only doing 5% we figure if we're only giving 5% we're only going to spend and um, enjoy 5% we're going to try to keep those numbers the same so we end up increasing our fund to 10% and we want to increase our giving to 10% so that's something that we're kind of doing a little differently right now we're only at we're only at 5% or lower because we have other goals that we're working on same thing you know our necessities we want to get under 55 if we can um, so we can start increasing those other ones at the top ideally if our top portion could be maybe 40 percent um and you know instead like that would be that would be great um so those are those are the recommended percentages from t harv eggers from the secrets to a millionaire mind i would love to hear from you guys do you um take that into consideration when you're planning your budget or when you do your cash flow planning or when you go to purchase something new um do you guys consider what percent of your income that expense is taking out and if you do let me know in the comments below what percentages are you following so i hope this helped you in some way um, to kind of get an idea of where you should kind of delegate your money out to these are again these are just recommended percentages do what works for you uh, but i like to have kind of a, a goal or something to kind of see what could i do with those numbers and if i wanted to change those numbers around so again i hope it helps you guys in some way as always thanks for watching and i will see you soon